track one, track one, track one, track one. Okay, now can you guys hear me? Is that it? I think that might be the thing that I was missing. Put some pizzas in the chat if you can hear me. Okay, it's quiet. I was just talking about how I was fiddling with the audio settings and, um, you know, everything might be broken. So there we go. I broke everything <laughs> before the stream even started. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay, can you hear the music and everything? Okay, great. We got a couple pizzas in the chat. Uh, in the chat. Sound levels are quieter than usual. Yeah, I figured that might be the case. I'll turn up the mic uh, to be here, and then let's turn the music back on, shall we? How about that? You should be able to hear it. I was fiddling with all of the audio settings. But yeah, so welcome. I said hi to every single one of you. I swear. I asked you how your day was. I told you about my day. I told you the password to the million dollar treasure chest. And uh, all the great stuff. But it was very much, you know, a thing that you guys didn't hear at all. <laughs> sure. Yep. Definitely. You shouted back at the, sh at the screen as well. Great. Yeah, well, hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you all so much for the subs and the resubs. Uh, if you're a Twitch sub, you got to link up your accounts in Discord. Your Discord and Twitch account and your user settings. And uh, then you'll get your Twitch roll. I think that's... Uh, yeah, besides the welcomes, that's about, about all I said. <laughs> my old age is getting to me. I was just talking about how I changed all my audio settings again. I did, like, another two, three hours of testing and yesterday... And I uh, figured that might break everything. So here we are with everything being broken. Good to see. Good to see. You're timing out someone. The next person to chat. Oof. Santi, I'm sorry. We're timing you out for five minutes. Music is starting to get too loud. Okay, I'll turn that back down a little bit. Uh, Casper, can you time out Santi? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, in tonight's stream, we're going to be planning what we're doing with the rest of the storage system. Possibly planning out some of the additional farms as well. And just getting more things built on the server. So I would like to expand the system. There's still a couple things that we need to do with this system. Like actually test it. But we can get to that a little bit later. Uh, volume in the last video was perfect. Interesting. Some people said it was too quiet. So that is kind of what I expected. This is a very quiet microphone. It needs 60 decibels of gain. So, you know, that's the thing. No flying, just vibing. Oh, man, you're banning me from flying. That's, like, what I like to do. We actually do need to go to the nether. We need to get some glowstone. I'm not going to fly over there. I'm going to use a riptide. How about that? I'm cheating. Take that. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we need a storage system tutorial. Are you right? Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. Uh, I'm going to be releasing the elevator tutorial, I think, on Thursday. And then probably a truly bedrock on Saturday. Maybe that tutorial on Sunday. Is there a way to update the realm without updating it? What? No. You, you gotta update it to update it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stop yelling at us. I will continue to yell at you. Thank you. You like doing that in the nether? Yeah. I'm gonna rip tie it all the way around the nether. You'll see. Aha, see? The one minute timer's up. Now I can fly again. Perfect timing. <laughs> anyway, I literally just need like four pieces of glowstone. I just want a couple of redstone lamps. I always forget where the staircase is. It's on the west side. But yes, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Is your day well? Hopefully it is. Bang, bang, crash. I'm a professional. Absolutely. That's how we do things around here. Okay, where's the nearest glowstone? This is the previous nether hub. You can tell by the blue fire. Uh, let's see. We gotta get out of this area for there to be the glowstone. Here we go. Open nether. This is what I want. Glowstone. There we go. This is all I want right here. It's gonna fly straight into it. There we go. I actually need the glowstone dust, don't I? Or do I need to surround a glowstone block and redstone? I forget how you craft a redstone lamp. Oh, dude, rip hiding from lava would actually be pretty fun. You can buy glowstone from clerics. I completely forgot about that. 
Now you tell me. Jeez. The Pico Gast is a great texture. I love it so much. You're doing good, Bullet. Glad to hear. You're in bed watching the stream. That sounds pretty pleasant. Always nice to just chill out, chill out in bed, you know. Uh, okay, there we go. Can we get the rest of this? I think we can get a couple bits of it. No, that's a very long fall. Don't fall. <laughs> uh, I guess we will spend two glowstone to get two glowstone. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay, I fell. That was a bad thing. Don't fall. Space Dorito, welcome in, and welcome Raiders. How are you guys doing tonight? We are in the nether, fallen off of things that I was not supposed to fall off of. Literally just trying to get some glows down here. How was your stream, Space? There we go. Professional. If silent doesn't fall, it's not a silent stream. Well, there you go, I fell. This is clearly a genuine silent stream. <laughs> 26 more days till Halloween. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention something. You guys completely distracted me by telling me that my stream was broken. Uh, we are having a truly bedrock stream weekend. Next weekend on the 9th and 10th of October. Group of guys going to be starting it off and then Slack and Bruno and Piggy and Tiz Tom and JC and Liara. And then on the Sunday, we got Mr. Beardstone and Zloy and Dancraft and Rogue and Maribel Jade, myself and Jesse B. I don't think the stream weekend has any repeats. No repeats. Very nice. So yeah, stop by the Truly Bedrock stream team. And then you'll know exactly who is live streaming from Truly Bedrock at any given time. Stream weekends are always fun. Halloween with no trick-or-treating. I haven't gone trick-or-treating in like so long. It's really fun, but I just haven't done it. Okay, let's make a redstone lamp. That's literally all I want to do. It should be simple. Now, flying into buildings. That's how you know it's a silent stream. Okay, so literally just one thing, a little bit of redstone lampage on the direct front of this thing right here boop then we'll know when the system is online there's a sheep in my way of course there is 80 days till christmas it's too too much time between now and christmas why is this on oh right it's got to be inverted okay well we can fix that we can fix that hold on i'm a professional i know what i'm doing can I get myself some stone bricks? Anybody? Stone bricks? Because now it's on when it's off. We need it to be off when it's on. There you go. Professional. And now I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yes, please don't spam the chat. Thank you. Spamming bad. Uh, yeah, if you can't name anything in an anvil, that is a bug. I've yet to look into that one, but supposedly that's from 117.32, I think. I think I made an infinite circuit. No. I didn't make any infinite circles. No, 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 no. So, see? So, this one is getting power to there, and then that powers that lamp. And then this will get turned on when this one turns off. So, if I remove that, then that'll turn that on. Yay! No infinite circuits. No free energy devices here. We don't do that. We don't do that around here. Only the regularly infinite energy cycles. <laughs> I must ask you to subscribe. Oh, that would be a great name. We usually do get to the chopper. But yeah, that's a good one too, Shard. Also, Diagonal, thank you for gifting a sub to Craftsy. 89 gifted subs in the chat. You're ridiculous. 
Now, there was actually another reason why we needed these redstone lamps, and that is because I want to build up some storage silos on the left side here. So, a storage silo is, of course, just like a giant pillar of chests with redstone lamps on them. So, we're going to grab all the chests that we have, which is a total of 34. Look at that. That's pretty good, actually. So, I have several designs for these. Basically, I want to have a whole system of this thing just for, like, cobblestone or something like that. Uh, so, I have a tutorial for this already pulled up. There's a link to it in the chat as well. It's from December, uh, part of my advent calendar. And I'm not sure which one of these I want to build. Storage silo. Yeah, storage silos. Now, there's a couple issues with having a storage silo because, of course, we're putting them kind of like in these little nooks right here. Uh, let's turn all of these into redstone lamps, shall we? 25 redstone lamps. Maybe that'll be enough. 25. Thank you. So we need to be able to get like an input to this area and then we need to be, be able to get like the output out of this area as well. So we want to be able to dump in a mass amount of items and then have it fill up the system. And then anything that doesn't belong in there should get put into this system. Hello Papa Fresh, welcome. New mic? Yeah, we do have a new mic. I'm still fiddling with it trying to get it sounding good, but I think it's better now than it was any previous time so there's that <laughs> progress is being made slightly now there's also the question of what do we want our storage silos to house storage silo stream storage silo stream storage silo stream yeah say it 10 times quickly <laughs> let me show you the uh the designs real quick as well for these Ta -da! There we go. Uh, so this is gonna be multiple different designs in the same video. Oh, I kind of want to do the RGB one. What is this? Come on, come on, YouTube, play the video. Thank you. But, it but no sound. Sound is bad. <laughs> so we could do that one. It's kind of deep though. We don't have that much area to work with. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven blocks to the very front of this. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six. That could work, possibly. I'm using my own tutorials. Dude, I'm always looking at my own tutorials on live streams. I can't remember anything about my builds. <laughs> uh, so that's design number one. That's like the simplest. We could do, let's see. Is this design number two? I'm trying to get a good look at it. Yeah, this is design one still, come on. There's five designs in this video. This is design two. These lamps only turn on when the chests are completely full. Uh, we could very easily fit this one in here, couldn't we? Hmm. Hmm. Low volume again. I'm very loud, I swear. Silent Spiky Spires storage silos. Oh, no. Silent Spiky Spires, spires storage silos sorting stream. On Saturday. <laughs> this is a dynamic microphone, yes. Uh, we could also do this like zigzaggy one, or just like this one. This is technically the RGB. Hold on, can we back up a little bit? I want to see the red sound of this. I want to see the redstone. Yeah, okay, so this is how you do the redstone for that. Uh, it's technically a two wide system, so we have a five wide area. I mean, yeah, we could make that work. We could make that work. Okay, which one is this? This is design number three. Let's skip to that tutorial. <laughs> it's the RGB one. Volume's good on your end. Good, glad to hear. Okay, we decided on design. It's RGB. Roygibiv. Now, how do I build this again? This has also got a lot of storage on it as well, compared to other ones. Okay. 
Uh, let's grab some stairs and stuff. I'm just going to build this out of, I guess, deep slate would be the best way to do it. I don't have any deep slate. Of course not. Naturally. Now, the real challenge of this build is going to be a bit later when we have to figure out exactly how we're doing the hopper lines and the item sorters for all of this. Uh, that I currently have no idea how we're going to do, so we're just going to leave that issue for a bit later. Can I even use barrels? Slabs. Four blocks long? Uh, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. This one is six. I'm doing good, 27. I don't know if I can use barrels in this area because the villagers. Maybe I'll just go back to using droppers. I was about to make a whole bunch of barrels, but I think the villagers would mess that up. So we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to have one double chest right there as our output. Another one on this side. And then we'll have little bits of stairs sticking out so we can access those. I don't know how we're going to deal with this area right here. We'll have to put a wall there to hide all that redstone. This is the input chest to the entire system, so we might want to move that as well. Barrels made from sticks. Yeah, isn't that how you make barrels? It's a bunch of sticks. I know. I had no idea. I was trying to figure out how to craft it one day on Clash of the Creators, and uh, I made a whole bunch of slabs. But I didn't have the recipe for a barrel for some reason, so I just like completely failed. Had to take everything that I owned into the nether with me. It was a bad time. But we, we didn't die, so there's that. Oi, there's no window right here. What's up with this? What's up with this? Where'd my window go? Window go. What's up? Ain't no window. Ridiculous. Who even built this castle? Didn't even fill in all the windows. No wonder the heating bill is so much. Heating up the whole server. I swear. I'm gonna blame the villagers. Anyone got any objections? I'm blaming the villagers. Too late. You're definitely gonna see the storage system from like outside. And you know what? I'm blaming that on the villagers too. <laughs> Blame Sally too. Oh yeah, no, that's a good idea as well, actually. Uh, we're gonna have a block of space back here. We could push this back, I suppose. Do we want to push it back a block? Because then it would actually be flush with that wall. That would actually probably look better, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's just do that. Easy to fix. Well, we haven't really built anything. <laughs> it's Silent 2's fault for paying the heating bills in the first place? Yeah. Dang it, Silent 2. How, how dare you care and provide for the villagers of this place? They're supposed to suffer and be cold. Using my hard-earned fish to pay for those heating bills. Tisk tisk. You should have known. We're just here to rack up a debt. Okay, so these ones go all the way back like that, and then we kind of zigzag it going up. Also, how tall do we want to make this thing? I figure it needs to be fairly tall. Also, I need more, more hoppers now. How much wood can I spare for this? I actually did find a whole bunch of dark oak in my items, so we do have a little bit of uh, chest materials. What's the longest thing I've ever built? Like length or like the thing that took the longest to build longest uh probably some form of nether tunnel i would imagine i used all of my chests that was not productive does they need more chests 
if you're talking about a thing that's taken the longest to build, I would imagine that would probably be the Season 2 Truly Bedrock base. The farming area of bases. It just took forever. This is about right. That seems about tall enough. We should probably make it... Decidedly vanilla nether fort. Man, you got a good memory. How long have you been around, Smokey? You've been following since September 30th, 2021. Maybe you just now followed. Hmm. Uh, technically, maybe that was the longest. You had fun exploring the download? Nice. Glad to hear it. Oh, moving this back a block also means that we can put the RGB on the front of it. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And Carnage, thank you so much for the tier one sub. <laughs> Don't boil you just for following. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> these things are not that tall, but they're already taller than this thing. We got to make these things taller. You don't build a storage silo only for like five chests. <laughs> I was complimenting you on how much you remembered about the Silent Vanilla, which is like eons old. Basically, if you were around for the Silent Vanilla, you're like 1% of viewers. Because we had 14,000 at the end of Decidedly Vanilla. And then we started Truly Bad Rock, and then end of that year, we broke like 100k. <laughs> and now here we are! With 422. Many, many. Many, 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 many. So yeah, basically, if you're around from then, you are... One of the very first. Okay, we need the repeaters and comparators now as well. 420 and still and still derpy. You you know it. We derp all day. We derp all night. <laughs> Let's see. Quartz. We need a smooth stone. And we have plenty of redstone torches. I way overcrafted redstone torches. Uh, we're going to make like 10 comparators. And I need redstone dust for some repeaters. Repeat us. Boop. There we go. And slab jabs. What kind of slab should I use? Oh, it needs to be deep slate because you're going to be able to see it. How's the storage building going? Actually pretty solid. I mean, we just started, but you know, still good. Hello, Will. Welcome to the stream. That you'd stop by and say you love the YouTube videos. Very nice. Glad to hear it. About the Beacon Factory. Nice. Yeah, no, the Beacon Factory. Oh, it's such a fun build, isn't it? It is a grind, but it's so good. I love the Beacon Factories. I need to make a, another one. I really do. And I will. Everyone's been bothering me to do it, so therefore I have to. <laughs> Use birch slabs. No, Smokey. Get out of here. Gas farms are great, too. When did you sub the soil? 2016, 17, 18, 19, 2020, and 2021. Yeah, the majority of that should be 2019 to 21. Or really just 2020, 2021. Not a single person from 2017. Well, rude. Oh, my 2017 peeps gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. But you don't love me anymore. No. <laughs> hey, we got one person from 2017. Shout out to my 2017 subs. <laughs> Um, this is needing to go another block forwards.
There we go. And then we basically just continue this cycle of, of uh, stuff all the way up. Uh, my current gunpowder farm, if you want to call it that, is just a ghast farm. Really fun build. Great source of gunpowder. Uh, the tridents will probably fall out of the world if you relog at the moment. Uh, so be aware of that. Yeah, so that's the thing. If you didn't see today's episode of True Bug Rock... Yes, today's episode of Bug Rock. <laughs> then you might not know, but Trident Killers are indeed fixed, and everything about them is pretty much how they should be. So rejoice! Mojang fixed the Trident Killers like super quickly. It's honestly just amazing how quick they pushed out that bug fix. Like honestly, it's just wow. They they're never that quick. That's just amazing. GG's to the devs for getting that. Pushed out so quickly. We're doing such a good job in general of all the... Everything. Just great. Okay, so the poll's nearly over. Uh, but we got two people from 2016. One person from 2017. Six from 2018. Ten from 19. And everybody else is from 2020 and 2021. Y'all crazy. Uh, yes, that's what I was going to wrap around to saying for Trident Killers. Uh, the only issue of Trident Killers currently is that tridents are falling out of the world when you leave the area so you need to pick up your tridents put them in like an item frame or a chest or storage or whatever just don't leave them on the ground basically oh if we make it one block taller we can have two red two green two yellow try to kill her for chicken farm shut up <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got green and red already, so we just need some yellow. I got a yellow farm over here. Yeah, yeah, yellow farm. You guys and your sound alerts. Why you like this? Uh, we're just gonna make a couple bits of yellow again. We'll put these flowers into there. I think I only want like two yellow glass. Did I use all my redstone lamps? No, there they are. Okay, good. It's like, hold on a second. Okay, so we'll grab a bit of this red, grab a bit of this green. We'll have green up there, and then yellow, and then red. And now we just got to put one more layer on this. I don't really use any texture packs. Uh, anything that I do use is from Bedrock Tweaks on Google. Just search for it. I only have a couple texture packs, really just for redstone. <laughs> now the story of minecraft is you always overcraft no matter what it is you're making even if you know you only need one of them make like make like two make like five so even though i only need a couple yellow glass i'm just gonna make more and it'll be fine but yeah here we go now we got our stoplight storage system. So if we turn on RTX, uh, which I don't have the texture packs on right now, then we will get uh, red, yellow, or green lights coming through the system. Is this the Krusty Krab? Hi, Wob. Wobby Wobster. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the villager trading one. That's also a very good one. Like, oh, for crafting white dye when you need bone meal. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I do that all the time. It's so dumb. I hate it. It's the worst recipe in the game. <laughs> can we all just rejoice at, uh... Or sorry, can we all just bond over the fact that white dye, when you're trying to make 
literally anything else is just the worst. Terrible. Terrible. Oh, wait, it's damage sounds. It's so loud. Okay, so that's that one done. Now we just gotta build that again over here. Yeah. Well, you sent your monthly chat, see ya. <laughs> okay, Wob, I love you, bye. We'll see you next month. Come back on Halloween. <laughs> so silly. I'm out of slabs. Making sugar instead of paper. Literally making anything that is not the item that you want is just the most painful face palming experience that you can have. Just like, ah, especially when you're in survival or like trying to do like an event like Clash or a speed run. It's just like, ah, really? Really? It's embarrassing. It's bad. Are you spam? Oh, yeah, because on... Oh, yeah, you have to, like, spam click the buttons when you're on console to get the items. Oh, rips. Rippity, rips. R.I.P. many items. That's sad. Now I'm sad. You made me sad. <laughs> also, thank you, Hoodles, for gifting more subs to the community and Mysterious as well. Gifting many, many more subs. Uh, let's see. We got gifted subs to Cyroban, Revered Pain, Crotonian, God of Speed, Vexalta, and Polly. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much. Can we get some love in the chat for those two crazy people? Being the mad lads that they are. Day in and day out in these streams. I think like... Oh, and then here's the gift and five subs as well. Uh, to Pain Dragon, Denali, Moonlight, Blank Slated, and Time La Time Lady with a Wand. That's a cool name. I like that name. I think Diagonal and Hoodles and Casper are like our most consistent sub gifters. Basically, like every stream. At least for like the past month. It's been ridiculous. What are you guys doing? Stop it. Get some help. Take a financial responsibility course. <laughs> uh, we're building some storage silos. I need more repeaters. I should be building like a tarp for my roof because it's clearly raining inside my base. But, um, you know, priorities. Priorities. That thing I don't have. Oh, yeah, RTX in the moonlight. That's fair. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, sure, let's turn on the RTX packs. Uh, which one do you guys want? Do you want the vanilla RTX or do you want the the other one? Uh, divine PBR. I don't know what PBR means. <laughs> we usually use vanilla RTX normals. And then thicker fog and clearer water. <gasps> Did you just ban Ash? Casper. <laughs> Ash is also another very much a gifted subber. Why me? <laughs> you just banned Ash for like two seconds. How dare you? Uh, let's gotta do the stupid bug of RTX again. Where's this darkness? Well, I guess the base looks really nice tonight, guys. Can I walk out the doorway? I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, we're outside. Yeah, yeah, look at this, guys. Ooh, good. Beacons over there. Very nice. We're, we're taking a swim. Oh, you guys, and <laughs> you creeper sounds. <laughs> good timing. Yes, good timing. Uh, so that's why we don't use that right now. 
I don't know why it doesn't work. Nice textures. Yeah, very nice textures. <laughs> so amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? Is it going to work now? Nope. Okay, well, I mean, so much for RTX. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It might be the other texture packs. What was I doing? I was making repeaters. Just trying to do productive things, and you guys just over here like, <laughs> Turn on RTX so I can get you blown up with a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what you sound like in my head. Every single one of you has a voice. Yes, even you in the back. Jacob. I don't have any deep slate blocks. What's your voice? That's confidential information. Now it's thundering. Man, I really want to look at the base in RTX, but it's just not going to happen. Yeah, so we are currently upgrading the storage system. Oh, I do have some blocks. My inventory's a mess. I can't tell. Boop. And then... Uh, we're putting all these repeaters on four ticks, by the way. That way, the redstone lamps don't flash from an item going through the system. At least not as much. If it weren't for these, then they would be flashing a lot more. Especially when draining and stuff. So we just put those there to reduce the updates on the lamps. Okay, that is the final layer. Doop. And there goes that. Oh, no, we gotta do that side, too, Rips. Beautiful. Yeah, you can time out someone else. For five whole minutes. You can ruin five minutes of someone's day. For only 2,000 channel points. You can be that person. Do you choose to be that person? That's a very realistic sound alert. And you know what? It just kind of goes with the ambiance right now. We got a lightning storm. It's raining. It's nighttime. It's Halloween month. Throw in some phantoms. Why not? Okay, I think I just need like two more repeaters. Yep, just two more repeaters. Okay. Or comparators. Did I ever get bored of Minecraft? No, not really. We just keep on doing different things. Whenever you ever get bored, just try something new. Do something different. There is an infinite number of things to do, so... Just do something. Do something you've never done before. Play with friends. Okay, that goes there, that goes there, and there we go. Proper. Both of these are done. There shouldn't really be anywhere in these things for things to spawn. We'll put a torch on both of those for now, though. And let's see what they look like from outside. Kind of silly. I think we can make them a lot darker, though. You subbed two to three years ago. Interesting. That's a while ago. Jeez. There is a website that will tell you when you subscribe to somebody. If you put in your YouTube channel name or something like that. I forget what it's called, though. 
Also, Sabu, thank you so much for the follow. And also, Sugar Daddy, <laughs> Aiden, and Kat, along with Carnage, Sean, Good Soup, RX, and we got Twitch Dot, uh, Jert, Luck, Trigger, and Marshmando. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome to the Soylents. Hopefully, you're doing well tonight. Get out of here. Trying to jump over me? Jeez. So rude. I'll just put your spider eye directly into my chest. <laughs> Bottom repeater needs four ticks? Uh, probably. Yes, it does. Thank you. So what are we going to make these the storage silos for? I would assume one is going to be like cobble and then stone and then dirt and like something else. You can tell me when we sub. All you need is my personal info and social security number. No. The scammer. Get out of here. Ooh, piece of candy. 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 <laughs> Such a dumb saddler. I love it. Okay, so now we need to get an item filter up there. Uh, so we need all this redstone stuff back again. Should we use the note block one? I think we may as well. How do you make a note block? Is it wheat? I have a bit of wheat. What heat? Two, only two. Okay. Um, we got two seeds to our name. Okay, we got one seed to our name. Great, we can make this work. Do I have a hoe? Of course I got a hoe. Yeah, we do need to do furnace god activations, all that other stuff too. I just need to get like a little bit more wheat. Okay, harvest that with a fortune. Which I don't have on me. It's a fortune. Only one piece of wheat. Come on now. <laughs> I need 17 more. Is it only one per? This is terrible. Why do people farm wheat? You only get one piece of wheat per plant? What is this? Unacceptable. You only get one piece of wheat per plant. This is terrible. No jumping when going from place to place despite you wanting to press that space bar for no reason. Oh, I can jump when I have to, though. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, fair enough, Banana. Uh, once we're done with this, I'll do that. <laughs> Dude, one piece of wheat per plant. Why does... Why does anybody do this? Sixteen, seventeen... That takes us to eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one... Yeah. It's terrible. Nobody should ever farm wheat. This is not worth it at all. You need to farm three of these just for one piece of bread. Just do some potatoes. Potatoes. Just bake them and then you're like, oh, this is terrible. I never realized it was literally one to one. That is the worst trade in human history. You know the trade meme where it's like, I receive... And you receive? Yeah. This one is, I receive X amount of your life that you'll never get back, and you receive one wheat. Worse than villagers, man. I'm upset about this. Diamond for an emerald. Oh, God, yeah, I know that one, too. We don't talk about that one. So bad. Hello, Captain. Welcome back. And Hazard, thank you for your Twitch Prime sub. That's very nice of you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we'll get to the activations a little bit later on. 
for the furnace god and all that. Okay, comparators, repeaters. We need a bit of glass. Um, maybe we should do, I guess, green would probably be the best way to go. 25 hoppers probably is not going to be enough. So, another 19. Maybe that'll do it. Do I know if they're going to add more commands or anything? I do not. Uh, basically, I know nothing. Pretty much. Oh, we're running out of room. <laughs> Glad I didn't make this much taller. Uh, so, we'll put the item sorter going this direction. Hmm. How are we going to make that work? Hey, Aquabur. So, we can have... trying to visualize what the item sort of looks like is that gonna work that shouldn't cut the redstone should it because those are stairs if i put that and that there oh my my redstone texture back got turned off silly yeah okay so that works properly uh so then we would have our i don't even need no blocks it's one wide. We don't need no blocks. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. I need more chests now, though. Sorry, not no blocks. Target blocks. You know what I'm trying to say. Hopefully. Is there a way to move a world from bedrock to java yes there is you can use amulet uh that will or sorry no you can use the mcc converter what's it called it's called a universal minecraft converter that's that'll do it for you but you gotta pay for it it's kind of dumb or you can use mcc tool chest um amulet will copy paste certain things from one world to another which is pretty convenient I, I, okay, so the issue with this is that I don't know where the incoming item line is going to be. Oh, Amulet can do world conversions. Oh, I forgot. Well, there you go. Yeah, just use Amulet. Lower this down. Oh, come on now. <laughs> it's so difficult to build things. I'm bad at Minecraft, okay? <laughs> okay, so we need to put our comparator right here. Can we do this on both sides, though? We kind of can't. No, we kind of can't do this. I was thinking we would put a block here, and then that would technically be an item sorter. It would just be going to the side. I'm trying to save hoppers here. But that's not going to happen, is it? Yeah, this area is just awkward and dumb. It's just awkward and dumb back up here. Okay. So, I guess we'll just put our item sorter right there then. Whatever. Uh, so, that means that we need to snake a hopper line down into this area. Which is going to be so many hoppers. And then you can't crouch while on scaffolding. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is scaffolding such a bad thing? 
There we go. That's all I want. And then we need another hopper to be above this. So this is where the actual hopper line is going to be above our head. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, we're going to swap out a couple of these hoppers for droppers. But let's build up the other items order first. Now, speaking of amulet, I do actually want to make another video on it. Uh, I haven't made a video in such a while based on amulet, and I think it would be good to revisit it. It's had a lot of updates since then. Overall, it's just an amazing application. It does a lot of really cool things. So many unique things that you can do with it as well. I also want to make a video on how to use structure blocks and a couple other things that I think would be useful to everyone. I got a lot of videos that I want to make. It's just a matter of like actually making them. <laughs> okay, we can swap those ones out for hoppers or droppers. Okay, I think that's about the most that we can squeeze out of that system. So now we need to put in our filter items and decide what these are going to be used for. We're going to take my one piece of cobblestone. Piece of stone. What should the other two be for? No, structure blocks can be used on any platform. Structure blocks are really, really straightforward. Super convenient tools. Basically, if you're a creative player, then you gotta be using some structure blocks. Imagine if storage systems were made out of dispensers instead of droppers. Or hoppers. We just need a lot of string, wouldn't it? We're out of cobblestone. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to go buy some from Zloy. Oh, dumb. Where's all my dumb at? Did I put it away again? I know I need to keep that stuff out on display. We should probably take some things to sell as well, shouldn't we? Let's grab some diorite. And then we'll grab one shulker. Why are dispensers stackable? Because bows are non-stackable? Because reasons. Reasons. <laughs> okay, uh, two stacks for one dumb. Okay, great. One stack, two, three, four, five. Uh, only five duh, or five stacks. Okay, so now we can steal two dumb. Just gotta find some dumb in here. There we go. Okay, great. Let's get some cobblestone. He's he's chock full of diorite at this point. So we got dripstone and calcite, granite and tuff, stone and cobble deep slate, basalt and cobblestone. It's literally right here. L3 stacks for one dumb. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. We only have one dumb left. About to run out of dumb, guys. Cobble generator time. Actually, that's something that we could fit into the base. Totally. Get a stone generator. That could be appropriate. We're going to go ahead and just line out all of our cobblestone in there. 
I'm making a bulk storage silo for cobblestone. I don't even have like any. <laughs> Uh, we also need our name and items. Dum dum dum. Yeah, dum is our personal currency of the server. It's quite fun. Stone generator equals free dumb. Oh, that's true. Huh. Yeah, because he buys stone and cobble. Hmm. True. Exploit the system. Okay, now I have a serious question for you guys. What are we gonna name our filler item? This one's have a great day, matey. What filler item are we gonna use for this? I think it should be a puffer fish, because we just have so many of those. So, what do we choose to name it? Hmm. Maybe a table flip puffer fish? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna put diamonds in there. Puffin Dumb. Yield fish. Filet. Name it Dumbledore. Oh, Dumbledore. Poor Dumbledore. He took the uh, have a nice trip see you next fall very literally. Pokey Cuisine. Pokey Cushion. <laughs> Filter fish. Uh, I like ye old fish. Ye old fish. Ye old fish. Thank you so much, Banana, for that one. Okay. We got our filter items in that one. We got our filter items in that one. Hey, look at that. It's doing the RGB. Take my hopper back. Grace, now we gotta do that for this side as well. Okay. I'm gonna leave that scaffolding there. And of course, amount of redstone. Why do I always run out of the things that I need? I swear, I'm cursed. Or maybe Minecraft is cursed. Yeah, I'm gonna blame Minecraft instead. Never mind. I'm all good. <laughs> Dropper that goes there. That goes there. One of those. One of those. One of them and those. I'm out of blocks as well. Jeez. It's almost like this game doesn't like me or something. Okay, comparators. I just need some redstone. Put the puffer fish in the furnace god. No, poor puffer fish. It's almost like I'm building. Yeah, I'm just like using materials on something. So weird. Never happened to me before. Okay, is that everything? No, we still need the filter hoppers. Boop, and boop. I do not know what these two are gonna be filtering. It's gonna be something that we have a lot of. Uh, no repeaters needed for these ones. These are designed to not need repeaters. Which is kind of a nice thing, because that makes it a little bit cheaper. It is time for you to draw your art commissions while watching the stream. That's pretty cool. You do commissions, nice. Uh, thank you, King of Fumbles and Komodo, Rush, the Doomed Runner, Arch Duckling, and Starfighter for the follows. Are those things not showing up on screen? 
The follows should be selling up on stream. Shouldn't they? Alert box. Follows. Follows have been disabled. Huh. When do we turn off follower notifs? Somebody drop a follow. I need to see if it works. Definitely not a shameless promotion. Saturday? Uh, I might have. No, can't help. Ah, sadness. Nobody can uh, drop a follow, sadness. I'm wondering if follower notice have been turned off since we had the uh, the follow raid like a month ago. <laughs> Ridiculous. Dude, those hopper lines are going to be so way up there and there. Hey, thank you so much, duck. See, that's what should happen. We should get the little follow notice. How are we going to get items all the way up there? That's pretty far. Everybody in the chat's a follower. Well, god darn it. Bunch of sheeple. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's really, really tall up there. I'm thinking of how, how we got to do this now. I don't remember turning it off to Twitch Rivals. And Nomi, thank you for the follow as well. A bubble column? That's a clever idea, actually. Actually, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, what we'll do is we will have a bubble elevator right here. That'll take up our items to this height. Out of hoppers? Ah, oh, I just put my hoppers away, didn't I? Of course I did. Here, hopper, hopper, hoppers. You know, maybe I can just do a water stream. Just straight up water. Wind up staircase with a catwalk. We probably will be having access to this area. Huh, you know what? That's actually a fair point. We might have access to this area when it comes to... The second layer? But anyway, for now, we'll just install this. You gotta, like, jump crouch to, uh, place things. No, don't go down scaffolding. Come on. What are you doing? Nope. There we go. Fifth time's the charm. <laughs> Time to start putting it in the floor. Yeah, maybe. Probably line up with that one pretty well, actually. That one's probably level 78. Yeah, that's only a block above us. That's at this height. That's literally perfect. Is it still a catwalk if only Pigos walk on it? I need to get a philosopher in here for that one. No, don't go down. No, stop it. There we go. Okay, so water will go over to the side. Actually, we can we can make the water flow all the way over to here. That'll be good. Save us some resources. And then it'll drop off items right on this hopper. Beautiful. Zombie, I'm trying to build a base here. You're not a very good building inspector. Get out. Okay, great. Let's let's get some soul sand, shall we? And I think we're going to use chains for the rest of it. We also have some ice. Chains, 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 chains. This one.
Yeah, this should work out pretty well, I think. It's gonna be kind of janky, but you know what? Whatever. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, I need to go up even further. No, more, more further. More further all the way up to here. Okay, now I need more blocks. Great. He wasn't a building inspector, he was a squatter. All the more reason to get rid of him. You can have toggle sneaking on, on console. Yes, you can, but... Isn't that even worse for scaffolding? Because, like... It just goes down all the way. Toggle sneak is one thing that I always thought console did really well. <laughs> I was playing on a uh, legacy console during early Hermitcraft seasons. And they were always complaining about their fingers falling off from holding shift in the end dimension. I was like, aha, console edition's got one better than ya. Haha, take that, filthy Java players. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh man, Bedrock Edition don't have toggle shift. <laughs> Such a nice little thing, isn't it? Uh so now we're just gonna break all this with fortune. Yeah, he does hold shift with his thumb. He's got thumb like underneath the rest of his palm. To press shift. Left thumb, yeah. It's so weird. Never understood it. Whee! There we go. Oh, doom, now we got skeletons in here. What is this whole siege? Cool, so any item that we throw in will go straight into this, and then that'll be it. Uh, I do think we should have a couple of hoppers here, though, just to collect more of the items. In case we ever throw out more than five stacks, we want this to be collected pretty well, don't we? That water did not ruin anything. We're good. <laughs> Are you guys still talking about the pig walk? Come on. <laughs> Do a little twirl. Haha, I think that filthy job of players. Yeah, you're gonna quote that. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah. I swear I'm not mean. I am technically a Java player myself. Like. Okay, so that looks terrible, but it's gonna work. Uh, chance just to keep it in the water. So if I throw in some doy, right? Bye! Uh, that should come down into... That hopper. Hey, someone's got it. Turn it. Oh yeah, tinted glass, that's true actually. How much of that do we have? Haha! -ha! Lots. Pays to have a geo farm! It's four to one, isn't it? Yes. Oh no, four to two, okay. Uh, so this is going to make a mess. There you go. All the water should flow into there. Not well, too far. Yeah, I probably should have done this from the from the beginning. <laughs> A 
Also, tinted glass looks really bad right now because of our texture pack. Yeah, that's much better. You big smart. Thank you. Uh, we could even just put a button there and a button there. To, uh... Dudes, with the skeletons. Get out. Goodbye. Oh my god. Four hits from a power five bow. And he's still at five hits. Come on, dude. Die. Five hits. Six hits from a power five? What even are you? Immortal skeleton over there, dude. Uh, yeah, we'll put a couple buttons on this. Let's get some blackstone buttons. We're, gonna, we're not going to end up using, like, any of these chains. Chains are good until they're bad. Original difficulty at work. Do we even have that on Bedrock Edition? I don't even know. Choose! Which one are we choosing? Java, Bedrock, Java, Rock. They're the same. Hmm, rocks. <laughs> you know what my answer to that is? Hmm, rocks. Tasty rocks. Hello, Liara! Uh, we got... Blue, with the tier one sub for four months, so thank you so much. How you doing tonight? Cook, thank you for the follow. We also got Holy Totem, Moose, and Nomi. Thank you for the follows as well. Hard die, right? Maybe a little bit. What, are you gonna judge me for it? You gonna judge me for it? Fine, go ahead. Uh, so now we need to get that hopper line from there all the way over to there. Oh, jeez. Bedrock, 45%. Hmm, rocks, 39%. It's an evil castle. Of course, I'll have skeletons. The skeletons are supposed to be in the closets. They're not supposed to be roaming around. Shooting me. Getting revenge. Supposed to be in the closets. That's where I put them. That's where they should stay. Now, if I was really smart, what I would do is I would put another elevator right here. And then send the items up through there as well. And I think we can do that, but we need to figure out how we're going to do the hoppers first. I need, like, another stack of logs. Also, don't tell Zloy I'm using Dark Elk for hoppers. Pretty sure I would get murderfied. Okay, 64 and 12 hoppers. That's a few. <laughs> you left the door open? Ah, oh, jeez. You have something to tell Zoy? No! Stop it. You're a bad person. <laughs> oh, come on. I have one secret that I try and keep, and you guys are just like, no, nah, I'm going to go tell Zoe right now. Fisk. Zoe's in the chat. No, he isn't. Don't scare me like that. He's not in the chat. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're just going to straight up run to this hopper line across this, uh, across this right here. Yep. Why did you place down there? Come on. Closet building stream. There's so many bad jokes that could be made about this. I'm gonna go put a bunch of skeletons in my closet. You know who skeletons those are, right? It's your guys's. It's your guys's. <laughs> yeah, clearly we cannot have any secrets in these streams. Right, well, let's just do that whole thing again, shall we? But, like, 40 times quicker, because now I know what I'm doing. Did I get a soul sand? I don't think I did. Nope. 
We seriously got spiders everywhere. Too many spiders. So, we're going to have one of these right there. Yeah, so that'll be our input to this system as well. It's ridiculous, and it's silly, and it's dumb, and I love it. Where does this need to go? This needs to go all the way up to here. Okay. Uh, we are going to figure out a way to hide this hopper line at some point in the future. So don't worry about this being around forever. It will definitely be hidden at some point. Like, this is just bad. That's bad. Don't look at it. Closets with named armor stands inside. That could actually be a fun redemption. <laughs> you know what? I'll name an armor stand after you guys. And we'll put it in the closet. I don't die, right? You know, technically, this right here is kind of a closet area. There's already a llama in there. Alrighty. Uh, somebody go ahead and redeem... Hold on, I need to pull up something. Uh, just redeem a channel point redemption, and then that'll be your name on an armor stand. And we'll put it in this closet. <laughs> Where do I see my channel point redemptions? There it is. Next person to redeem something's name goes on a thing. Llama kick the skeleton out. Ah, oh, that makes sense, yeah. Dang it, llama. Mmm, I guess that works. Yeah. Oh, Captain Beardy. Damage sounds very nice. Sounds good. Do I have any armor stands? No slabs. <laughs> No, old Captain Beardy was the first person to do it, so we're gonna just name it after him. Uh, I don't suppose I can put this in an armor stand and then have it show up as a name, right? <laughs> Everybody's like, hold on, I'm gonna get my shadow points in! Is that gonna pop up as the name? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, we need to get a name tag. I guess I could just name that llama as well, couldn't I? You want the llama or the name tag? Or the armor stand? Your dinner brown snowman just died? Sadness. Oops. Uh, well, it's just kind of in there now. What can I do to get this out? Okay. Uh, I have a solution to only name one of those. We need ourselves a water bucket. The llama is one with the base. Indeed. Why am I one block tall right now? It's not what I want. Okay. So we're going to put this right here. And put that back, and then Llama's gonna float up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he can just stay there like that. That's perfect, actually. There you go, old Captain Beardy. And then I will take back my armor stand. And now we'll just have annoying Llama sounds in the base forever. This is gonna be great. I got no issues with this. We'll put a door there, even. What's the darkest, most evil door? I have to do, like, a warp one. <laughs> you guys. I want to block off this water so it's not, like, flowing absolutely everywhere.
There we go. Okay. Well, that's rather silly. I would rather have done nothing else. Wait, no, that didn't come out right. There's nothing else I would have rather done. <laughs> Beautiful. He's so derpy. I love him. He's in the closet now. Go to the closet. <laughs> Ridiculous. See, this is why we need a multi-item storage system. This inventory right here. We still have wheat on our inventory. Castle of Closets. Ooh, classic closet castle. Uh, Raycon, Time Lapse, Burning Tom, Leslo, Bo, and a couple others. Thank you so much for the follows, everybody. Welcome into the stream. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do redemptions because we need to really do those before I forget. And then we'll come back to this and finish up this storage system. How about that? I realize we've spent a very long time tonight just building these two simple things, but you know what? Whatever, we're chilling. Oh, yeah, the clouds are broken. Red farm hasn't been broken. Uh, depends. The Ravengers kind of don't fit down the hole right now due to reasons. Uh, there's a couple other minor issues as well, like Trident Killers, but technically no. I still have ideas for a new one that's gonna be gonna be made. Yep, it is time for Furnace God activations. We got the fish catcher. Very nice. Good name. Relevant to the task at hand. <laughs> we got Pilot as well. Ta-da! Unshipped mod with another one. All hail the furnace. Yeah, Lava Blade for the Ravengers, basically. The real Kaz with another one of these. All hail the furnace. I wish this thing was faster. And then we got Milk Dud Banquet with another one as well. Did I say your name? I did say it. Because you redeemed the, uh, the Furnace God. We got Lord Andy. Sad of stock, sad, sad. Sad fishies. Panda Dad! With the final Almighty Furnace God activation of the night. Thank you so much, everybody, for those furnaces. Come on, funny number. Okay, we'll, we'll try for the funny number. We'll try for the funny number. Come on, funny number. We probably need two or three more of these. Come on, funny number. It might land on it, it might not. It's probably not. It's gonna land like one level under it, isn't it? Funny number is not quite there yet. Come on. Come on, funny number. <laughs> oh, it's not a funny number. No funny number. Funny number is not funny. Oh, Leora slept right before I got to bed. <laughs> oh, I need to do the uh, the no jumps. Okay, no no run jumping. But I can jump when I want to. Or when I need to. Just not like the run jumping to go slightly faster. Name two items to get funny number. No. We're going to check our shop profits real quick. You never know. We might have a lot of taters. Oh, man diamond. Oh, we got to bring over some shards. Oh, we should probably go harvest our shards then, shouldn't we? 
Yeah, we should probably go harvest shards. Now that we're officially sold out of them. We also need to go restock netherite as well. One of these days we'll restock netherite. Oh, that's cute. That's a good slime. Yeah, the crest armor shop is actually going pretty well. We've made some, some pretty good diamonds from this. No diamonds right now, but we still have quite a few things in here. Yeah, no one's bought anything since last time I restocked it. Uh, right now, there's basically nothing in there that's actually cursed. Name it Adam's Outstock Sadness. Harvard Shards, those must be exclusive. Yes, the Harvard Shards. We are going to grab an iron pickaxe. Why iron? Uh, because it's slow. And we're going to put Fortune 3 on this. One of our dudes in here has Fortune 3, don't he? Sharpness, impaling, do, 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 fire, luck, thorns, Fortune 3. How much is it? 25 emeralds! You drive a hard bargain. You'll regret this one day. When I get a cheaper villager. Hey, where this? Okay, I just put it away. <laughs> Yeah, so we want something that mines very slow in order to not destroy our budding amethyst. Because we've already broken a couple, and then we have conduit power over there with the efficiency 5, now the right pick. It's just a bad, a bad combination. So we gotta be, like, extra careful in order to not destroy our buds. Car salesman villager, basically. gone to the dark side i am the dark side you were merely born in the dark side you know what? i wonder if they've even grown we were just over here the uh, yester stream weren't we it's a lot easier to see in here right now than it was yester stream Yeah, so if you're not aware, this is basically, like, the best way of getting a large amount of these things. You find multiple geodes within a close proximity to one another. AFK right between them all. And then they're all growing. You don't need any redstone. And you don't need anything else. And it just works great. You come harvest them once a month and you just get way more shards than you could ever need. Castle looks good. Nice. Thank you. Glad you like it. Yeah, standing sideways is also a good idea to avoid breaking the block. And just, like, having very careful aim. Okay, this one's done. And then we got one more right here, and another one even. Yeah, this one's fully grown. I think I've broken like four within this one geode. <laughs> also, not all geodes are made the same either. You got to keep that in mind. Uh, lots of geodes don't have that many budding amethysts, but you can find some with like 50 or 60 budding amethysts. So you gotta really search around for ones that are large. Like this one is significantly smaller than the other one. Zero, welcome back to another stream. How you doing? You're just gonna drop this flex right here. <laughs> Seems appropriate. Welcome back for 34 months of subscriberage. 
insanity. 34. Long, grueling, troll-filled months. You being the troll, of course. <laughs> what have you been up to? See you later, spaceman! We got completely sidetracked, didn't we? We were supposed to be working on the storage system. Finishing that thing up, but no, now we're doing geodes. Is there any more? Or just this one. Okay, I believe this one's fully harvested. Oh, gas blasters are such a pain. Sadly, they are just not that reliable. I wish they were. Also, I do have a trident farm. Oh, this one's way more. This one's got a lot more. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, different sizes of geodes. Boop. So many crystals. I wish these things had more use. Because they're so nice and you can get just tons of them, but they don't really have that much use. And it's a bit silly. I want to say they should be power sources, but you know what? That would also be silly as well. <laughs> is there more over here? There's so many. So many floating around. Also, this entire thing is waterlogged, by the way, in case you can't tell. Uh, we got a conduit in each of them. Oh, am I not using the iron pick? I should be. Oops. I thought it was mining really fast. <laughs> it's like wow even this iron pick is just one hitting things wasn't even using it of course a sandwich for dinner sounds about like what I had uh, the trident farm is on the channel if you just search for it Lots of stress. Sorry to hear that, Zero. Hopefully things chill out soon for you. Stress is bad. More decorative blocks of Amethyst? I agree. Uh, that's the full inventory right there. Probably should have brought a shulker box. Is that all of them? No, we got more over here. Okay, torches. I'm sorry. You're getting thrown out. <laughs> okay, we're out of here. See you later, fish catcher. Thanks for stopping by. Ramen with homemade broth? That sounds nice. Not Jeff's family. <laughs> Jeff the torch. I completely forgot about Jeff the torch. Dude. Oh my god. You guys' capacity to remember completely one off random jokes in a live stream? is uh supreme what was all that clicking that was way too much clicking <gasps> no hmm i have no idea what all that clicking was 
I thought maybe we had some observers facing redstone dust in the storage system, but we don't. Oh, come on now. Yeah, it must have been the dropper elevator. There's no reason they should have activated, though. Yeah, I don't hear him from this side. Weird. So weird. That really doesn't make any sense. Unless something went through the system, like from a spider, maybe. But it would have ended up in here. So, I don't know. I don't know. The Strange Mysteries of Minecraft. I do have a tutorial for the Gas Blaster 6000 or whatever, 9000, uh, so it's already on the channel, but they are super unreliable and fiddly and a pain in the butt to build, and overall just a pain. Uh, kind of similar to like the 12 stacked iron farm, or even the 4 stacked iron farm, they're just pain in general. All the skeletons in the closet. That's what the sound was. That makes sense. Yep. Okay, so we need to finish assigning all the items in the storage system. Uh, so for this one, we're just going to spread out all of these. Let's actually make this make a uh, semblance of sense. We got Moldvin Jr., Melvin Jr. We're going to have our array of shulker shells. We'll, we'll pretend like this is kind of organized. Uh, this is all of our regular diamonds that we got from the shops. We have other diamonds that we got from mining. Ancient Debra. Let's put the ancient Debra. Hmm. The valuables box is always a hard one to sort out. We're going to reserve the entire bottom of this for these different ores and items, though. TNT duping, but ghast. Yeah, but inefficient ghasts is the thing. Okay, so that's what all that's going to be. Uh, we're going to use some of these uh, subscribe button filler items. Just so nothing else goes into the slots. Coal is done. Redstone. We technically would need this one to fill in the redstone. Where are the Melvin crew? They are at the Barn Bros Barn. Just kind of chilling. We got rails, the pistons. Leslo, thank you so much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. You pressed the, uh, you pressed the subscribe button. <laughs> Did I say redstone or breadstone? You know, breadstone sounds pretty tasty. I'm going to pretend like I said that. I am perfectly fine with saying breadstone. You can hate me for it, but uh, breadstone sounds delicious. Thank you. Do I have any comparators? I might need to make some. Mmm, breadstone. Deadstone. Look how many triple arrows we have. Yeah, so droppers. Wait, both of those are droppers. Do we not have any dispensers? Oh, no, we do. Droppers, dispensers, observers, redstone, targets, uh, slimes and honeys, repeaters, hoppers, and then we need a comparator, and then a redstone torch, and then that'll be that box done, basically. Uh, we can stock it at some other time, but for now, it'll be pretty fairly organized. Now, one thing I see on the comments on youtube is a lot is like 
people wishing Mojang would add additional redstone components. And I just don't really know what they would add. What do you guys think they would add if they ever added more redstone components? I'm feeling like we're, we're honestly pretty solid right now. But I kind of felt that way even before we had observers. Cinnamon breadstone? Mmm! Cinnamon breadstone! Dude. Mr. Beardstone should open a bakery. Mr. Breadstone? Definitely. <laughs> Hello, Clash. Welcome. A hopper that points up. That would just be convenient. A rotator? Copper wire for vertical redstone signals. Oh, yeah, just a wrench so you could churn item, churn things. Now, what use would a rotator really have? Like, you could rotate a piston, per se. That could be useful. Also, just like a vertical hopper would take a lot of issues out of everything, wouldn't it? Like, item elevators are just solved. It, it would be called an upper. Modded redstone, like overlapping wires. Bluestone, basically. Do you guys remember Mumbo's April Fool's video? Where he did bluestone? He uh, retextured rails. He pretended like he had an early snapshot from Mojang. <laughs> That was a great, that was a great April Fool's. Hopper pipes. Hopper pipes would actually be pretty interesting. Not like a standard hopper, but just a pipe that would uh, send items X distance. Be much cheaper. They wouldn't be able to pick up items or have items taken out of them. That does sound pretty, pretty useful actually. Does this have bone meal in it? It does. Convenience. Liquid pipes. Now, what would you use that for? Oh, it's out of bone meal. Wow. And oh, an actuator. Dude, actuators are the funnest thing in the world from terraria oh my god do i have my terraria base i want to show you guys my terraria base one day because that thing is just wired out it is just like 400 percent wires everywhere it is beautiful the amount of wiring that i got into that base Like, I had teleporters to every part of the world. I had traps. I had, like, a whole defense system for the base. Uh, actuators is a thing. Basically, think of it as, like, water logging. So you can have an actuator in the same space as, like, this block. And then if you were to power that actuator, this block would essentially disappear, allowing you to walk through it. Or fall through it or whatever. So, essentially, the block would go, like, transparent and you could fall through it. And if you unpowered it, then the block would come back. Like, it's actually an amazing thing. Terraria's got some great systems, man. Dork. I'm not a dork! Shut up, Hanny. <laughs> Hanny. <laughs> Still can't even get your name right. God, I'm terrible. <laughs> You're a dork. I'm not a dork. Mer. I'm, yeah, I'm your guys' dork. I don't even have enough green dye for this. Hold on. I need a green dye. Look at this. Cactus farm is producing. People thought that cactus farm would never produce any cactus. I'm like, dudes, trust me. It's four cactus plants. It'll produce. Oh, I can make furnaces out of blackstone. I forgot about that. Uh, We just need a couple of these. Do I have any lava? I don't. Of all the things that I don't have any of. 
You would think lava would be the last. A Terraria YouTuber? Nah, I played Terraria years ago. I haven't played it in, in ages. I think I have it on Xbox One. I don't know if I have it on PC. I did transfer my world to Xbox One though. Maybe check it out one day. Oh, I need a capture card for that. I, I want to get it on PC. Is there a way to transfer worlds from Xbox to PC? I think that's the only way I'd want to play it again. Is if I was on PC. I've been corrupted. Yellow, orange, red. Uh, magenta, then purple. How do you make purple? It's red and blue. I knew that. Don't make fun of me. Uh, red, magenta, purple. There we go. Okay. Now we need to make more orange. Oh, we already timed out. CD. Oh, no, wait. No, you're asking CDA who he's going to time out. Fair enough. CDA was already timed out. Right. That just ruined everything. Because there was already... Right, so it's green, lime, yellow, orange, red. Green, lime, yellow, orange, red. And then magenta and purple. And then it is light blue. That shouldn't be there, should it? Hold on, I have a die chart. <laughs> I want these dies laid out in the exact color that they should be laid out in. Uh, let's see. Useful Minecraft info. I got a whole folder of things like this. Here it is. It's a die chart. Ta -da! Yeah, so this is what I usually have them laid out as. A poll is going. 44% of people think I'm a derp. 15% pigo. 45% think I'm a food. 3% think I'm sus. Only one person thinks I'm a dork. Okay. Thanks, honey. <laughs> This isn't laid out correctly, though, is it? You laid them out in rainbow? That's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. That chair is so squeaky. Yeah, hmm. I, yeah, what is this? This is not laid out correctly. Okay. Uh, we're going to change this up. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay. We're changing it up. Because this is laid out wrong. Now I need to make some of that white dye. So it's white and then light gray. I can rearrange this while I'm doing it. And then normal gray, which I need to make more of. I always think it's light gray and dark gray, but it's just normal gray. And then it's black. Which I also need to make more of. And then it's brown. Do we have any brown? We better have some brown. Yeah, we got brown. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I don't have any brown, I don't know what I'm going to do. Going to have to go have a talk with Tiz Tom real quick. <laughs> and then it's red, orange, yellow, lime, green cyan we have the light blues the blues purple magenta and then pink beautiful 16 colors <laughs> just shake his time a little bit until he drops some brown dye <laughs> there's always the right way Roy Jabiv. yes see you later milk dog hope you had a good night 
a good time tonight. We'll see you later. Organization matters. Organization matters. Purple, magenta, and pink. Okay, great. Uh, we're going to keep a few bits of these other items in the die box as well. Uh, we'll keep a bit of cactus in there. It's going to be perfect. Have I been to JCB's die shop? I have not been to anybody's shop in a little bit. Uh, right, so we'll keep a bit of cactus in here, a bit of ink sacks. We'll keep in a couple of these. We'll keep in some bone meal. And then, of course, just extra things as well. Probably don't need a whole chest dedicated to this, but you know what? Whatever. Could probably combine this in the flower chest, honestly. And then I could have two chests for dirt. Yeah, how are you supposed to be the richest person on the server if you give away all your diamonds? Precisely. Uh, we will keep a stack of this in there. Beautiful. Uh, this one I don't have all the flowers, so we're just gonna cheat. Okay, now for... This one's done. That one's done. That one's done. This one's just always going to be a mess, so I'm going to cheat on that one as well. <laughs> and Apex, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Hopefully you're doing well tonight. Enjoy your pig emotes. Also, some random... Or some rando in chat, thank you for the follow. Along with Blizz. Clash is the best. Uh, Bibu. Uh, Dolly, Nart, Nedlo, and a couple others. Thank you for the follows as well. And Raymond, thank you for the 100 biddies. You would like a block that would either compress items into another item, thinking it's into blocks, and or grinds items into another item. Maybe even need to build redstone circuitry around it to adjust it somehow. Auto crafting, basically. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting. Not very vanilla Minecraft. But definitely interesting. It's very much a modded thing, isn't it? Yeah, I need more of these glass panes. And there we go. Been a level on that one. Uh, we're not at the funny levels anymore. Do I still need to get a shulker box of every die? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you guys would forget about that. Okay, concretes I definitely don't have enough of. But I can spread these out as much as possible. In order to save on glass panes. Terracottas is something that I'm very likely not going to use anytime soon. But you know what? Bricks are actually a pretty awesome building block. There we go. That's that box done. Nether box still needs to be organized a bit as well. This is always a painful one because, like, you got to balance the amount of nether rack that you're keeping with the amount of other junk. We have a lot of soul sand, don't we? Oh, and then we got red glazed terracotta. How'd that sneak in here? Blame it on dementia. <laughs> it's 
playing water on dementia. Nah. <laughs> you get me. I'm not that old. I'm just busy. I got too many things to fit in one brain. Has got a brain full of no knowledgeable things, like uh, useful Minecraft facts. Yeah, totally. That's what I choose to spend my brain on. Definitely. This arrangement will only last for like a week or two? I mean, possibly. It depends on how much we really use all these chests. It could go either way, really. First version of Minecraft was only made in six days. It shows. <laughs> Ender chest box. I'm never going to use this. We're going to have to reassign that to someone else. Because I'm putting my inner chests or my inner pearls into here. Uh, so that's going to have to be assigned later. And then all of this is just going to be normal arrows. I thought I was going to use a lot more tipped arrows, but probably not. What age range is silent in? 20s or 50s? Nothing in between. <laughs> What? What'd you say? You just destroyed me. You just obliterated me. I'm dead. I'm lying on the floor in pieces right now. <laughs> uh, we got a raid from Herbie. Thank you so much, Herbie. How you doing tonight? Right now, we're making ourselves a bunch of torches. Usually what I like to do is make myself an entire double chest of torches. You might laugh and say, that's silly. And you'll be correct, but it's actually very useful as well. Like, just make a whole bunch of torches, guys. You'll never regret it. Unless you want unless you run out of wood. In which case you might regret it. But like if you just bulk craft the torches. You'll save yourself a lot of time in the future. Eighteen stacks for now, that'll be fine. You carry a shocker of sticks in your inner chest. A shocker of sticks. Fifty-four percent of people think I'm in my fifties. Oh jeez. Man, I started a TikTok account and everything, trying get hit with the kids and it's just not working you guys are seeing right through my right through my everything <laughs> now you see this is why you don't want a very large storage system because this stuff takes ages this is pain Also, we got spider eyes in this chest. We should probably grab a couple other from the other chests. Potions. All four of these are not sorted, so that's all good. This one's just drippy boys. 53% of people think I'm in my 50s. 28 for 20s. 11% for 30s. What? What'd you say? 8%. No one thinks I'm in my 40s, so there we go. Cool. <laughs> Why we can't have nice things, guys.
Make with the clickety clickety. Look at that. I killed that spider without even looking. I was looking at chat, reading your guys' fine messages. Didn't even have to pay attention to him at all. See, I'm still young and in my prime. Even though I'm 55. I mean, what? <laughs> I blame that one website. Like, it says everyone on there is 51. And that's where this entire meme started. It's so dumb. But also a little bit funny at the same time. Which is kind of exactly what you want from a meme. Isn't it? It's kind of the entire point. It's got to be dumb enough that it's possible, but also funny. Silent is a biotech infused pico zombie with no age. Okay. Why is ice within stuff? Because it's a catch all box. This one's straight up iron. You want iron? This is where you go. Iron. Bones is also another good box. I know what we're going to do for this one. And then, boop. Come on, place it there, thank you. Boop. 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 I remember when they first introduced the bone block. Back in my day, it completely revolutionized everything. It was so convenient. It was great. There you go. It's very useful to have a bone meal box. And then straight up lava. Something that we have nothing of. Uh, this is going to be an unsorted chest. So we got to turn that hopper to the side. And now we can actually go ahead and do a test of the system. In theory. We should be able to throw an item into here. And if it's all working, we should maybe see it come through the very end. Uh, so what items are we not sorting? Is there anything in this chest that we're not sorting? A ye old fish? If we toss through one of those, we should see it in this output chest. I'm showing my edge badly. No! <laughs> Why do we have two iron chests? This one over here is for like all the random iron stuff. Uh, so your lanterns, your chains, your doors, your anvils, mine carts, stuff like that. And then other just junk. And then uh, that one over there is for iron blocks. Uh, so we have to fill in this as much as we can. We might just fill that in with uh, a ye old fish. Ye old fish. I like it. That one's gonna break your system. Right, so here goes nothing. Uh, also, these item elevators don't leave behind any items as long as you send in the items slow enough. that even go anywhere? Should have gone into there. That should have activated some stuff. Should have done something. We might have a problem. <laughs> Seems like it went up the item elevator. It just didn't activate the the anything else. Okay, we need scaffolding. Yes, test the filtering by making half a chest of testing out. Well, you have a point there, Paladin. You do have a point there. Um, yes, right. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that should see. Okay, so that did work. Oh, we're missing a redstone dust. Okay, that's all it is.
And it'll still test the filtering. Uh, so both of our items are sitting like right there then. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> Anyway, two of these fishies? Yeah, two of these fishies. See, I know what I'm doing. Young and in my prime. Prime, Pico. There we go. See, it's a beautiful day for the redstonery. Uh, so that should come down. And it's probably going to get stuck in one of the item elevators, isn't it? Let's check this third chest to see if anything comes through. People still staying in my prime? Damn it. You got me there. Yeah, so it's only if you send items in at hopper speed. Do these elevators leave behind a couple things? Uh, but as you can see, we're getting fishies through the first section. We should start seeing fishies coming through the second section. Yep, second section is good to go. Third section. Come on, third section. We're hearing a bit of those item elevator clicking. Come on, third. There we go. We got third section. All righty, cool, cool. 53 is a prime number. Hey! <laughs> uh, fourth section? Come on now. There we go. Fourth is all all good to go. Can we get a number five? Number five. We got nine of these things to go. Come on! Fifth section. <gasps> it stopped. They must have gotten stuck in the item elevators. Okay. Fair enough. I demand more ye old fishies. You gotta prime those elevators. Uh, Kelly's and Grand Toasty, Dusty, and a couple others. Thank you so much for the followers. Welcome. We got that one, two, three, four. Okay, we made it to here. We shouldn't hear any of those previous item elevators behind us click now. But once they get to about here, then they should start clicking. Just looking for those primer fish. Redstone failed us. No. I mean, I'm hearing item elevator clicks. Come on. Oh, there goes one! Aha! Only one, though. Should definitely. Oh, there goes. Okay. I wonder if they're getting stuck somewhere. Well, I, we know items make it to number five. The wash item sorter never works. Okay, fine. I'll look away. But I need to look in this chest. <laughs> See you later, I'm. Have a good night. Oh, it stopped. How many filler items do we need? So it made it to the second to last one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it needs to make it through this one. And then it needs to make it through this one. And then after that, it just, it just goes into the, uh, the overflow. Uh, right. Okay, let's send through a couple chaser stacks. There we go. We have one fishy. We, we know the items made it to at least here. 
Uh, we don't know if they made it to here. But yeah, you're right. We shouldn't see anything get filtered into this one. Uh, let's just fill this up with the arrows. 10 out of 10 names. Absolutely. So we can actually put these just into these chests. We can skip a lot of the system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We know it got to here. That'll activate it as soon as it goes into the elevator. Unlimited storage. Zero access. Basically. Okay, great. So it's working to there. And then it's filling up that item elevator with a couple items. It's a bit fishy. <laughs> it's a terrible pun. Why did I laugh? You're terrible. But I'd love it. Okay, great. It's making its way to there. Adams go vroom. The deception. A tutorial for a broken item sorter. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Okay. And... They're making their way to here. And now we should start seeing those things filter into the output chest of the system. Yay! Chase, we go vroom. This is great. If it's all flashy, it works, basically. And we are being sorted. <laughs> Terrible names. But you know what? It works. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I'm brilliant. Where'd all the fish go? What fish? There were never any fish. Were never any fish. No fish. No fish. That duck is very loud. Uh, so all the fish are in the first half of the system. Uh, they're in the item elevators. How do I get back there? Yeah, so there should be a fish there. And then a fish in this one. And a fish in that one. And then... It's like every third or something. Not oh, a fish in the very top one. Yeah, so the item elevator isn't exactly like the best. We would need to slow down the rate at which we send through items in order to make them not, you know, leave items behind like this. So, how many items are we losing per elevator? One, two, three. Four, five, and okay, so five times nine, that's like 45 items, isn't it? Yeah, that makes about sense. Because we didn't send through a full stack of fishies. I'm in my mom's Minecraft item order. Vroom, vroom, no. <laughs> Uh, well, you see, the thing is, it's random. So if we put a chaser item in here, there's a 50-50 chance of the chaser and then the actual item getting sent. Uh, so, I mean, you could just swap out the item elevator. It's just going to be a lot more expensive. This item elevator is best for things that you get a lot of the same of, like things from a mob farm or something. Uh, all these hoppers go to different places. Like, this one goes to the side of there. This one goes to the second one. This one goes to the third one. This one goes to the fourth one. This one goes to the fifth one. And then these ones go straight because we have to have the hoppers down there go to the, the side. Yeah, where is this hopper pointer? It does not have a... Oh. 
Um. Let's see, do 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 do. Yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah, it's all good. That's weird. The redstone was hiding the uh, texture, wasn't it? Oh yeah, water elevators is a terrible idea because they are inconsistent and they are loud. You have to actually dispense the items using a dispenser. And then they're massive and then just water is a bad idea in general. Uh, so everything about water elevators is basically a bad idea. So that's why you want redstone elevators. The clicks are very supreme when you have this kind of system. So you want to make sure that you're not using that. That's why having a silent item elevator is so important. I'll have to see if I can get myself a lossless version of this that isn't expensive. It's, it's a pretty hard task, though. Especially for, like, the size restraints as well. But yeah, that's about going to do it for tonight's live stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Kellys, for the last minute follow as well. I will see you guys again on Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as per usual. And again, thank you again just so terribly much for watching tonight's live stream. We're going to end by raiding Liara, who is playing on the Truly Bedrock server uh, right now. So let's go hang out with Liara, shall we? You guys know the deal. Put some hashtag silence or some follows in the chat. Let them know where you came from. And I'll see you guys over there and in the next one. Thank you again for watching. Why does it end the raid? Oh my god, come on. We're just trying to raid Liara here. <laughs> Every time I click off that menu, it ends the raid. But like, it never did that before. Anyway, ridiculousness. I love your faces, everyone. I'll see you on Thursday. And then there were supplements. <laughs>